What's up guys? Welcome back to Budget Rebuilds. We are finally back on our burnt bike and we got a big milestone today. Gonna hopefully get this motor finally dropped in there. Um, off camera, I went ahead and put our rocker covers on there with new gaskets. And uh, I think that's where we left off at. Yeah, got our push rods all in there, got them adjusted. I found a new, uh, new, used, new to me, used Super SNS Super G carburetor and uh, manifold. It had uh, the wrong size jets in it so i'm waiting on jets but anyway got all that put together as much as i can so we're ready to go ahead and drop this dude in here and then i guess we'll start kind of laying out the wiring and see how far we get with that slide in our motor mount bolts. I'm not going to tighten any of this stuff up until we get all of our motor mounts on and primary probably just so that everything's aligned like it's supposed to be. use these other bolts they're a little bit longer these are the bolts that came out of it I had those chrome shiny ones I don't know what they came from but these harnesses are for compression releases I still need to get the other end of it We have a motor in the bike. Hell yeah. Woohoo. Woohoo. <laughs> so this is the wiring harness that I'm using. It's a Ultima box and it's basically it's everything. It's just to replace your factory harness. I couldn't find a good used harness and everybody wanted a bunch of money for all the stuff. So to me it was easier just to go brand new and use this setup right here. <clears throat> And I went ahead and drilled a couple of holes right here and knocked off a little of these little nipples so that we can mount it flush. And I'm hoping that'll work out. I think it will. Okay, so now I'm just gonna like roughly kind of run this stuff out to where I think it's gonna end up going. Um, it comes with everything to make your own connectors and pins and all that other stuff. So, uh, and I'll probably do most of that off camera because that's pretty just boring. But uh, yeah, we'll go ahead and start figuring out where this stuff goes. So that's for the solenoid. That'll probably go down around this area. Something like that. That is for the coil, which goes on the other side. That'll probably go something like that over there. That is pull switch. I don't think I'm gonna run that because I'm gonna have a gauge on it. But we'll stick that there just in case I do. I'll run it along the same spot as the solenoid. Battery obviously goes to right here, and that's what powers the box. Brake light switch. I don't know if this is an input. I think that's for the tail lights because it's going to the back. So we'll put it like that. 
The ignition switch is going up here. I'm just gonna, I have a factory reproduction one, so it's gonna look like a regular heritage switch. <clears throat> This one is also battery positive. I don't know, might have to look into that. And brake switch. That's probably for the rear pedal. This is a neutral switch. That's going to go to the transmission. So that's a left rear tail light. That's a tail light. Let's see. This is left. That's right rear. <clears throat> That's a ground. We'll probably run it up here, or maybe that, that probably needs to go to the battery, I would assume. So that can go there. Brake power. I don't know, what the, I guess that probably both, that's what feeds the switch, I would assume. I assume. So we'll go down here too. <clears throat> now for the front part, I've already installed my ball, balls, edit, I've already installed my handlebars and uh, pre-wired them and stuff, so I've already pinned that one, so most of my stuff is just going to come up right about here, so I don't want to run all this out because I'm just going to cut most of this stuff off, and I'm pretty sure... See, th all right, so this is all for my indicators. That's what goes to the dash for my oil light, turn signals, neutral light, etc. That'll all stay right there. It's probably all for the handlebars. I'm going to go ahead and pull out my headlight and turn signal stuff just to get that. Because that'll go all the way to the front, obviously. Low beam. I beam. Switch. Right front turn signal. for the horn that's gonna go over there and normally I wouldn't even care about wiring up a horn but this is salvage title so we'll have to have a horn to pass inspection on it once it's all done front left turn signal so that should be everything We've got high beam low beam right turn left turn yeah so we'll go ahead and run that well, we'll run it on this side i'm gonna have my handlebar wires on the other side <clears throat> and then all this will be in one connector right there or right here whichever way I end up going I know it looks disastrous, but what I'm going to do is 
cut the wires, put my terminals on, and I'll run all this stuff through heat shrink or some kind of sheathing so that it looks clean, it won't rub through on anything. Put to the test. <coughs> all right, next order of business, we're gonna go ahead and get our uh, clutch perch and master cylinder on there and route our brake hose and also our throttle cables. <laughs> Loosen this guy up, get it set on there, pop our throttle cables in it, and our master cylinder. Gonna get these dudes started. I'm waiting on grips for this. I ordered some new ones. So we're just gonna go ahead and clip it together for right now. And we'll go ahead and get the master cylinder mounted too, just to make sure our brake hose is long enough. And it looks like I actually ordered the right size too. Yeah, all that's gonna work just fine. So we'll go ahead and put our master cylinder on there. And kind of running out of parts here. Uh, I ordered new chrome bolts for our brake, for our fittings, for our brake master cylinder and our brake caliper. And putting our clutch cable on there, it fits, but it's a little bit, it's a little bit short. But looking down here, this thing kind of looked goofy to me anyway, and I didn't really pay any attention to it. But our original trap door, or whatever this thing's called, that the clutch cable goes into, it comes out up here. This one comes out on the bottom. So I've obviously ordered the wrong trans cover right there. So we'll go ahead and get the correct one of those and get the clutch cable rerouted too. Because it's going under the frame. It's supposed to go just under the motor right there and come back up. So we'll go ahead and get that coming right now. Get our harness straightened out and uh, get it route, routed the right way and everything. And catch y'all in the next one.